Now I think we can get over to the repair station. Hopefully unmolested here. Well, almost unmolested. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to retrace our steps, actually, <laughs> because I made I made a bit of a mistake. Um, uh, as you guys have uh, probably noticed by now, I have um, rebranded the channel a little bit, uh, changed the name of the channel, changed you know some of the intro sequences, and and modified the graphics and stuff like that. Um, if you're interested in the details of why I did that, uh, you can uh, go hop onto the Discord, and the Discord's in the link is in the about section of the channel uh, for more information. Um, but in the process of, of shifting all that stuff around and messing with my files and so forth, I inadvertently uh, deleted the uh, recording that I did of myself obtaining the, um, uh, the ghost glider, uh, which is the legendary glider. Um, and so, I mean, it, it's completely gone, poof, like never going to get it back. So what I figured I would do is I would kind of retrace my steps, um, you know, in, in how I obtain that for those of you who, you know, maybe don't know how you get that. Um, you know, with the understanding that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing this from the future, if, if you will. Um, and then depending upon how, t how our time goes, I might do a couple of other things in this episode too, but the fact of the matter is I'm recording this episode after episode 37, even though this is episode 36, because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show uh, myself getting the, uh, in particular, the ghost glider, which we get over here in Scatterbone. And then, like I said, if we have time, um, I have a, I've put down a, a flame altar next to the Kindle Waste Spire, but I haven't actually done the Spire. So maybe what the plan will be, is we'll do this first, we'll do this second, and then if we still have some time, um, I want to run over to this location uh, because there is a a uh, another building block that we can obtain over there, uh, Rumble in the Catacombs. Uh, okay, so yeah, just be aware that even though this is episode 36, um, I'm recording it after I've already recorded episode 37, um, but I wanted to kind of, you know, squeeze it in there so you see how we, you know, got the ghost glider because I will, will be using the ghost glider in 37. And if I, if I didn't do this episode first, then when you guys watched 37, you'd be going, Hey, OG, how in the hell did you get the ghost glider? You didn't show us that. <laughs> so that's, that's the deal. Uh, okay. So anyway, uh, before we get started too, just want to remind everybody to take a moment and uh, like the video. If you do enjoy it, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already, if you have, thank you very much for subscribing. And also, um, Take a look at my uh, recent channel update video where I kind of explain a little bit more too about the changes. And uh, also, if you're interested, I do have a membership program. I know, shameless plug time. Um, and it has some pretty fun perks, including uh, access, uh, early access to uh, you know, some of my pre-recorded videos before they're published and some other cool perks there. So if you're interested, hit that join button on the channel. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, I think we're ready to, pretty much ready to go. My, um, two of my uh, craftsmen have new quest updates for me, uh, but those were triggered by the events that will happen in episode 37. So I'm not going to talk to them now uh, because I want to wait until you guys see episode 37. So that way uh, we're current again. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is I do have a flame altar over here. Um, I'm not going to retrace my entire steps in the, the footage that I lost, but I'll, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what we did, uh, at least the major things that we did. We did, you know, some smaller things too, but uh, basically what I did was I teleported to here. We ran down to the Shroud Route and killed the, uh, the Sickle Scythe boss again. I don't think I got anything real significant in the way of loot. And then what we did is we kind of, you know, ran through the Shroud down through here and when I got to this point, uh, everything to the left of this line is all the red, you know, deadly uh, shroud water or whatever the hell you want to call it. So I had to kind of retrace my steps back through this way. Um, and I 
I, I was able to use my pick to kind of stair step up in through here. And then when I came out through here, I, uh, I, I set this flame altar down in that location. Um, and then Scatterbone is the town that has, uh, or, or more specifically, this Sun Temple is where we find the glider. So again, I'm going to just retrace those steps uh, quickly here for the main purpose of showing everybody how to get the ghost glider if here again you don't know how that happens if you were waiting to see me do it uh, well, many of you probably do already know but maybe not everybody all right so let's take a look over here this this is um a bridge that goes across to the other side i didn't actually go across that bridge there's some enemies in the in the town there uh, but what we want to do is we want to go this direction uh, to get over to the sun temple actually hold on where am i going yeah we want to actually go this way there's a couple caves in there with some sulfur in it. In fact, you know what? I'm actually out of sulfur. I think I'm going to take a quick side step here and grab some of this. Okay, so I mined up a little over two stacks. I was actually, I want to do one other quick thing too before we proceed from here. Let's fast travel up to the iron mine way up in the northeast here. And what I've been doing at this location, in addition to using it to mine iron, of course, is I've been... Uh, farming it for the gold chest that's in here. So let's go grab that really quick and see what it has. White Wolf Sword. Level 25, 47 damage base. Oh, wow. That looks cool. Okay. Um, let's see how it compares to this. Hair Splitter. Okay, so these things are both even in terms of their damage. This is going to give us uh, Shroud Magic Damage, Retaliation, I think this is the 20% damage, yeah, 20% damage dealt back to the attacker, which is really good. I'm going to find a bow in episode 37 that has this same uh, thing, and then increase critical, uh, critical hit chance by 5. Okay, I ambush, increase ambush, I don't do my, much ambushing with my axe, because I'm a, more of a ranged character. So, yeah, see, I, I think this is actually better. Uh, I think we're going to go with that, and we'll we'll keep the axe as our backup, and then I think we're done with, with this guy. Though this would be good to equip while we're in the shroud, but increase critical hit damage by 20%. Yeah, that's not bad either, really. I don't know, maybe I won't melt that just quite yet. I'll tell you what let's do, though, since we have the magic of fast travel. Let's run back home really quick and update, upgrade the sword. Um, that's a cool sword, man. Look at this thing. It's got the glowing blue chevrons and things. Cool. All right. Yeah, let's um, let's do a quick upgrade here. White wolf sword. Okay, so that didn't change its base damage, but it gave us all of this stuff. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, I'm going... Let's see. Are we going in the shroud today? I think we might for just a little while, but let's go ahead. I, I don't want to melt this quite yet. Um, it, you know, maybe, for example, if we have an episode where we spend a lot of time in the shroud, we that might be worth, you know, taking with us. So we'll see how that goes. All right. I'm going to put a few things away, and then I'll meet you back uh, where we'll proceed. All right, guys. We are on our way back now to... The Sun Temple. One thing I discovered in the last episode is that these vultures are actually pretty susceptible to shock damage. It's a level 30 creature. Oh yeah, and by the way, all the enemies we're going to fight over here are 5 levels higher than us. Because <laughs> we're only 25. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're not to be trifled with. But uh, we'll take them out. We'll get the job done. There it is. That's the Sun Temple. So, uh, yeah, basically, I, I'm not going to clear this entire town like I did the first time. Um, but, you know, it's just loaded with your typical enemies. Uh, when you get to the... Um, uh, to the uh, right before you get to the temple, we'll, we'll have to fight two scavenger matron bosses. And, I, and we will do that just because they might drop something good for us. Particularly since, you know, these are level 30 creatures. 
Um, oh, and... Oh, shit. By the way, I, um... Hold on a sec. Yeah, look at the shock damage just taking this guy out, man. And I don't even, you know, I'm not even really specced into anything that, as far as I know, other than, you know, some intellect or mana that, um, you know, makes the wand stronger. Maybe I am. I don't know. Speaking of which, how are we doing on... Oh, wow. We got four skill points. Okay. You know what I want to do? If Here's the thing, though. If we're going to... I haven't put any points into piercing yet because we were using the axe that didn't have it. But now that we're going to use this, um, I probably should... What does that do? Hammer time. All melee piercing damage is increased by an additional 10%. I wanted to go for veteran uh, because it increases our critical hit chance by 10%. Yeah, I I think let's go for this, but I will I would like to also get this one too. Purification. After defeating a shroud infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish five seconds of shroud time. Five seconds? Eh, that's not really all that useful if you ask me. Um okay, yeah, so let's go for veteran. All allows you to attack faster with one handed swords and axe. Okay, so that's a speed thing. Um, but we will come back and get um, thrust as well for yeah for piercing damage and all mainly piercing damage degree. yeah both of these we need to get both of these uh, when the time comes of course and I might even do a respect because um, I did put some points into lumberjack at one point when I needed to do some you know get a bunch of wood at which I need to do again so I'm gonna leave that for for the time being. Okay, so anyway, like I said, there's a whole bunch of, you know, scavenger, high-level scavenger bosses in here. Um, but I'm not planning on taking every single one of them out. We'll just take enough out to, whoa, shit, uh, get the job done. Okay, we got rid of the lesser guy. Okay, I'm gonna. I need to get away from these guys, or I'm gonna run out of stamina like I'm doing right now. Okay, is there a place we can go up high to get away from them? Or at least try and use the glider to get away. I don't usually run out of stamina on this build, but yeah, this is a bit much. Okay. I wonder if I could get into town by going around this way. Yeah, these level 30 enemies, man. Five levels higher than us. That uh, definitely makes things tougher. There's a bomb right there. Not going to... Okay, whatever. Um, let's see if we can cheese our way in over here. Yeah, we can. Good. I just don't want to fight the, the whole entire town because it's going to take take too damn long. I guess I can't squeeze through there. Luminous Wand. That's a level 25, 47 damage wand. Um, here, I'm under attack here. There's a greenie. Okay. And of course it turned dark on us, damn it. Uh, there are beds in the town. I'm just not sure exactly where they are, so let's just take one of these for the moment. There might even be one in this uh, this area right here. There's a chest. Um, is this better than what we have? 
It's 47 damage. Yeah, I'm probably not. Uh, it's a fire wand, though. So I may hang on to it for that purpose in case we come across something that's, um, you know, weak to or resistant to shock. But I don't know that I've ever noticed anything that's resistant to shock. Wait, I can't get through there. <laughs> Do I? Is there a bed in there? Uh, it looks like there might be. So we gotta, we gotta get in here. No, that's not a bed. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Um. See, this is where the, the Matrons are going to spawn in this courtyard. Well, you know what? We probably have enough light to fight him in here. Uh, oh, sh... <laughs> that's the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, there's one down there. Let's just proceed. I already have one of those spiked bows. Um, yeah, it's actually on my other toolbar there. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't want to get uh, too close to those matrons because they can get their stuff up here. Okay. Um, let's, let's buff up and heal up. Oh, shoot. That's going to block my... Okay, we'll use one of these. Uh, we're not going to need shroud protection, but let's do a fat flask of the fell. Okay. I think we're ready to, to do this. We're using poisoned arrows. Um, let's use up our normal arrows first, because these guys are resistant to poison. And then, like I said, we just have to be careful not to get in their, their gobbledygook there. One thing they can do is they can call their wolves up and they can come up on the platform here. Uh, we got a dual wielding green guy down there too. Okay, let's now we got to go with our poison arrows. It, these still do the same. Oh shit, uh, the same damage as the other ones. They're just. Just the poison part doesn't work. Okay, just making sure they don't spawn their dogs up here. Yeah, okay. I need to get into a place with a little bit better visibility here. Okay, come over here, man. Can I hit you from in here? Oh, I can. Can't really get headshots, but let's go over here. Yeah, we're whittling her down. Okay, we got her. All right. This guy, I'm going to kill him too because he's bad. Bad juju. Got him. Got a puppy here. Oh, shit. Got a puppy right there. Looks, I think he's he's stuck or he would have bitten us right in the ass. <laughs> a radiant paladin chest plate. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Let's go. Let's go loot the other 
boss too. Oh shit. Alright, where's that whoop, where's that archer? Uh is he up there? Oh no, he's right there. I think that's a different archer. So yeah, the first time I did this, um, you know, it took a whole a whole lot longer because I fought my way through the entire town and cleared the whole thing. And there, you know, there are a couple chests and things down there, but nothing real critical that we have to worry about. Um, now I think there's a chest in here, if I recall. Oh, there's a greenie in here too. That's right, forgot about him. Get him back out here where we can see a little bit better. Let's go back in here. Just goes out to there. Okay. Uh, I must be in the wrong place because there's somewhere right over here. There's another chest. I remember. Oh. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Oh shit. Get out of here. Uh. Okay. Yeah. We'll sleep with the dead guy. Sure. Why not? Okay, so I meant to search him. Um, where's the search thingy? Uh, it, it, it was right there a second ago. This is very difficult. There. Okay. Um, let's see. There is... There's some bad guys down there. There's a normal chest. Here, I think this is where the other... Chest is. This sword gives a, a tiny bit of light, too. Another spiked bow. My goodness, keep finding those. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready to go do the main uh, quest here. But before we do that, there is a repair thingy right down here, if I recall correctly. Let's see if we can... Good lord. I'm trying to take a potion. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Not good. I was trying to get to that repair station really quick so we could repair, obviously, uh, before we got rushed. But, yeah, how did that work out for me, right? God damn it. All right, I'll see you guys back over there. Okay, let's see if we can ninja in there really quick. See, the problem is we got all of these green guys in here. Oh, shit! Okay, we just got to get away from them. I don't want to take on two at the same time. Let's kill him, too. Okay. Now I think we can get over to the repair station. Hopefully unmolested here. Well, almost unmolested. And then let's go back up this way. Oh, 
the door. No! Cut it out! There. Fuck off, rat. Uh, didn't we already kill all you guys? Oh, shit! All right, now we can get into the Sun Temple here. Okay, we got three thingy doodles uh, to do. We got one up here. We got one over here. And one over here. There we go. Okay, into the Sun Temple we go. Um, I don't know if I actually went through here. I did not. Look at, oh, we got one of those guys. I'll admit, I'm, I'm being a little bit careless with these high level enemies um, and I really shouldn't be but a tard bow level 25 a one second draw speed with only 7% arrow speed yeah no way absolutely not even close uh, these guys are level 25 acid cleavers for 47 damage but they're yeah they're not if you could if, if we could dual wield that'd be cool oh I forgot to look at this look at the health and stamina that that thing gives Hmm. Let's also salvage this. That's a a blue. Oh, this one's actually better than this one, just because it's got more upgrade slots. So we'll salvage that one too. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah, I, I actually didn't didn't uh, see this uh, the first time I went through here. So already it's worth it for us to come back. But yeah, I was just, like I said, I'm, I, I know I'm being a little careless. And we've managed not to, to die from that so far. Uh, well, unless you want to say it was foolish of me to run into, <laughs> into that room. Um, you know, to repair, but we, we had to repair, so. And part of the reason for that, too, by the way, um, is that I am, oh, I'm kind of in hurry mode, if you will, just because I've already done this. I'm not taking my time as much as I should be or would be normally, so that's, that's why. That's the why of it. Whether or not I should be doing it, that's a whole other question, but at least you know the why of it. I guess that's not lootable. Anything up here? Grab the sparks out of there. And this is lootable. Shepherd's Lightning, level 25. That's probably going to be rune fodder. Okay. Now, we have... We're going to have to do buttons in here. One of them is actually right through there, too, which is sneaky as I'll get out. It took me a little while to find it the first time. But now we know where it is. And each time we activate these buttons, um... Look at that. It... It triggers these traps. Uh, here we go. So that basically triggers that trap for the fireballs. Okay. So that's two of the three. And then the other one is behind here. Sneaky, sneaky, huh? Uh, oh, I guess we have a fourth one. Right. Um, where is that at? Yeah, see, there's a there's a shock trap thing behind that bookshelf that 
the fourth one triggers. So I just got to remember where, how to get to it. I think it might be out here. Uh, nope, not out here. There it is. Okay, and so that releases the shock trap there. Okay, now we're in the central section. Let's continue working our way up. And... We gotta, we're gonna have some vulture enemies to deal with. He's probably out of range for this. I'm out of range for this though. Okay, I think we have to go up this way. Oh, there's another vulture. Yeah, you just stay stuck right there. Perfect. Total cheese, but you got to do what you got to do, man. If the game's going to hand that to me on a silver platter, I'll take it. So, there's something out here. No, actually, I think this is just another way to get, get up here. So, we jump up here. Come up to the next level. This is really cool, though. I... I very much enjoyed going through this little tower dungeon, you know, the first time I did it. Okay. So now, um, oh, there's a gold chest. That's it. Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. Ghost glider. I was thinking it was, there's something else at the very top too, but this is, this is where you go to get it. And I guess we'll take another one. I don't know why. Can we break that down? No, we can't. But, yeah, cool. Uh, all right, so we finished that. Now, I think what we have to do to get all the way up here is this. And then <clears throat> what we're going to do is climb up here. But look what we have waiting for us right at the top. So what we're going to do is just jack this really quick. And then... There you go. So this is an approximation of the screenshot that I took for <laughs> for the original uh, video. But uh, that is how you get the ghost glider, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go back. How much stuff do I got in my inventory? Yeah, I'm going to go back home, drop some things off. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the, uh, the spire. Okay. <clears throat> I'm picking up this altar here because we don't need it down here anymore, especially once we get the spire. So let's fast travel to this location. And um, we'll probably be able to pick up one or two more of my flame altars once we unlock the spire as well. Okay, let's do this. I haven't actually been up into the spire. I just came far enough to it to, you know, uh, make it appear on the map and put down the altar over there. So I, I think this is probably the last spire that we will be doing uh, with the current map. Wait, what the hell is that? Uh, is that supposed to be there? So, it would appear that this one's active and this one isn't. And what happens if we respawn here and it respawns us right in the lava? What the hell? <laughs> that seems broken. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be like that weird okay anyway let's go all right we got a grappling thing there we got 
a button over there and spikes on the floor. Can I hit this from here? Yeah. You know what? I should have made some, some cheap arrows, but that's okay. So that opened that room down there. I do want to see, though, what's over here. If anything. Hmm. Why would, uh... Why would it want us to come over here? What am I missing? Because, you know, it's got the... It's got the grappling hook thing. I just don't see anything over here. Hmm. Okay. That's curious, but I'm not sure what the what the deal is with it. Okay, that's a lot of spikes. There we go. Got a chest here. Shroud meteor. Oh, by the way, I, I think I'll tell you guys this in the next episode. But, um... For my next build... Or, or sorry, for my next series in Enshrouded, um, I am planning on doing a magic build. Uh, because, you know, we've mostly done range, but we've also done a decent amount of melee to where, you know, I feel like I have the flavor of it now. Even though we haven't done a full-on melee. And if I, if I did do a full melee, I'd probably do, um, where the hell are we supposed to go? I'd probably do a two-handed just to try it. There's some loot. Okay, so we came up here to put, I need to f focus. <laughs> we came up here to push the button. So now, now where do we go? Maybe that's has something to do with going back that way. Is there anything that opened up over here? Not that I can tell. All right, let's uh, let's go back over here for a second. Just you know, to get a different perspective. But yeah, I'm not. Hmm. All right. Oh! Don't just walk up on the spikes. Like I just did. I wonder if... It's probably super obvious, but... I, <laughs> sometimes I don't see the super obvious. Just ask my wife. She'll tell you. Honey, I can't find my phone. It's right there in front of your face. Oh. I didn't see it. I mean, literally, that's the way things go for me sometimes. And I can't explain it. It's just the way it is. Ah, shit. Okay. Maybe what we need to do... Maybe there's a, a room around the corner uh, in the spikes that we're supposed to see. So let's go there. Go there. Let's go there. There. I'm not... Boy, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut the camera, look around, and once I figure it out, I'll bring you guys back. Oh, I think I figured it out. It's this room down here. Yep. That, there we go. Okay. The last time I had a really difficult time trying to figure out the puzzle, um, it was also right next uh, or near the exit, too. But uh, now we know what the deal is. Okay. Can you wand these things? Oh, you sure can. Okay, cool. It's just that a lot of times they're too far away for the wand. Okay, 
Um, there's a room to the right and it looks like a passage to the left as well. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we needed to push that button for some reason that hopefully will become apparent. Let's go now, 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 and over. This was the door I'm sure that we had to open. Oh, we need one more button now. Okay. Where would that be? Hmm. There we go. Those doors are openable. There's the button in there, but I can't open that door. All right, so. our wand to save our uh, arrows so, so we're kind of low I should have made some more okay that's probably the button we needed to get that other door open yeah this looks very familiar like this little puzzle here we like we've done it before all right bet you we got to get up that way Ten bars. Nothing out here. Oop, that was kind of close. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so... Spikes are active down there. There's a doorway out the side there. Anything over here? Lots of traps. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get back up there from hither. Go over this way. Not seeing anything here. That's it? No, this is where we... Wait a minute. No, this isn't where we started, but the button down there um, obviously leads to a chest, probably, so let's just don't know exactly where. Oh, there is a chest over here. We already came out this way. Here we go. Spellbinder boots, level 23. Okay, so that's why we needed to do all of that. What's, um... Is that door openable? Because there it looks like there might be a chest in there, too. I see a, a brazier, but... Ooh, that could be risky, man. Hurry! <laughs> okay. 
Why did I come in here though? What's the point? What's in here? I don't know. It's uh it was just done to deceive us, I guess. Okay. And we've done it. Nice. The Kendaway's soul was drained long ago. Every grain of sand a silent prayer, each fruitless as the dead soil beneath. Past springs of life, now home to none. Former hopes buried under dunes and dust. Very sad. All right, cool. So we have made it to the top, ladies and gentlemen, of the Kendall Waste Spire. This is amazing. Um, there's the Sun Temple that we just did. So, but this is going to give us, you know, access to a lot more area. <clears throat> which means that I should be able to pick up this altar and this altar for sure. Uh, that one I want to keep there because that's my kind of my farming spot for that gold chest and for iron mining. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've gone. These, uh, these, these recordings take so damn long because we're having such a good time. <laughs> I wanted to go down into here because there's a building block, but I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll hit that right at the start of episode 38, I think it'll be. So... With that, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. See ya. That's kind of, except for it's dark. It's kind of a nice little background with the moon there now.